And my name is Joyce Knight, and my title is Associate Professor of Community and Human Services at the Center for Distance Learning of the State University of New York, Empire State College. Long title. Okay. Higher education is very complex, uh, worldwide complex. And so one of the issues will be, um, well, my analogy, not so much for the OR, you, but for a diff another collaboration I was part of, is that it's like mating 33 dinosaurs. Um, and it has to do with every institution has different policies, different ways of, improve, of approving courses, different ways of course design, and so forth. So uh, there's two issues. One will be what the OERU policies are, and the other will be marrying that to the individual institution's policies. And each institution will have a different political process that they'll need to go through. Um, however, all of the institutions that are involved have a social mission, and the overarching mission of the OERU to be, um, to be altruistic, to um, make um, education available to people that it wouldn't ordinarily be out available to will be a kind of a floor under which each institution will operate. Uh, but again, in the when it gets down to the nitty gritty, it'll be kind of difficult. <coughs> each country has different accreditation standards. In the United States, um, we're accredited regionally by consortia of higher education institutions. Um, I believe in much, much of the Commonwealth, which is kind of the rest of OERU, it's um, accreditation by the national governments. Um, so each institution will have to go through its accrediting body, but one of the policies of the OERU is that all of us are accredited. So that will solve the problem of transfer of credit a lot. So that uh, we can say, okay, this course was developed by Athabasca University, but they're an accredited college in Canada. Therefore, we at SUNY Empire State can easily take it and transfer. And the same way across the board. So we're not going to be allowing any non-accredited institutions to be part of the, of the partners. And that solves a multitude of problems um, as far as accreditation goes. Um, and <coughs> accreditation, at least in the U.S. and I think everywhere else, has a, a multitude of factors that are looked at. So of those, for instance, for my institution, participation in the OERU will be a minuscule thing compared to everything else they'll look at in ten, or five years or ten when we're accredited again. So, so that, that's how we're doing it um, and why we're fussy. I mean, some people have said, we have some independent educators who've said, why can't I be in it? Well, because it would complicate matters. And we want to have some credibility. In the, we don't have the cachet of the MITs and the Stanfords and some of those that are are getting in the news these days. But we are good, solid, well-accredited, uh, known institutions. And so that's working together. <laughs>